Ben and Jen, the office of the chief medical examiner has ruled that teenager's death a homicide, saying that he died after being stabbed in the chest. Meanwhile, East Haven police says this is still an active and criminal investigation. A fight involving several people turning deadly in East Haven. Police say 15 year old Dustin Ceccarelli of North Branford was stabbed during that fight Tuesday evening outside of Tuttle Elementary School. He was rushed to Yale New Haven Hospital where he died. I'm upset for the family, all the families involved, you know, and it's sad that uh, life had to be lost. A neighbor who lives near the school where this happened described the aftermath. When I saw the police, there was kids running that were younger, scared because they saw some kid, you know, bleeding. Police say the fight happened in a courtyard on school grounds. It was after school hours, but neighbors say it's not uncommon for kids and teens to hang out there. They're here, they're not really being supervised, you know, it's after school. I mean, things happen. But after this incident, some are calling for change. One neighbor telling Fox 61 she emailed police Wednesday asking for more patrols and hopes to start a neighborhood petition. Just because there is kids that congregate, so you never know what's going on, but at least if they see police in the area, they know that they're not going to be able to have a fight or whatever if they know, oh, police could show up at any minute. East Haven State Representative Joe Zulo released a statement in response to the incident, saying in part, in the wake of this tragedy, and particularly as we learn more about what precipitated it, we must all pledge to do whatever is necessary to help prevent anything like this from ever happening again. In an email sent to East Haven parents, the superintendent says the suspect is an East Haven High School student. Police say everyone involved in the fight has been identified and accounted for. East Haven police have not announced any arrests yet, but did say there are charges coming. Live in East Haven, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.